Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as Detection of Lungs Cancer Through Computed Tomographic Images Using Deep Learning which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So we all know that lungs is one of the important organ in the human. But due to the various factors like smoking habit or pollutant in the air, these kinds of issues, the lungs get affected and the, it causes also the lung cancer. According to the World Health Organization, lung cancer is the second major reason for the human death around the world. So, yearly detection of this lung cancer will prevent the death and also helps the patient to recover soon. So, there are various approaches available and in this paper, the authors have used the detection of lung cancer using the CT scan image that is computed tomographic images and they applied deep learning model in it. And in this paper, the authors have used DenseNet, AlexNet and VGG16 and they have concluded that DenseNet classifier has achieved a 98% classification, classification accuracy and they have concluded that DenseNet was good. But now we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper. So now let us see about the proposed model and how we have improved from it. So here in the project we have implemented using CNN model architecture and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 100 percentage and validation accuracy we have achieved is 100 percentage so we have changed the model from the existing system and also we have improved the accuracy and other than that CNN model we also included three models in it so we developed total four models in the project the four models are first model is cnn model architecture second model resnet model architecture third is navy based model and fourth is k nearest more nearest neighbor model so we have used we have developed using four and we have proposing the cnn model as architecture as the best as we have achieved 100 percent accuracy so we have uh, achieved resnet model architecture accuracy as 97 percentage training accuracy and validation accuracy of 95 percentage in the navy base model we have uh, achieved the training accuracy of 99 percentage and test score of 100 percentage and in the k nearest neighbor we have achieved training score of 95 percentage and testing score of 97 so these are the things that we have implemented and uh, now coming to the document part so you can see that this is the IEEE base paper title or you can use our proposed title as enhancing healthcare with AI CNN based lung cancer detection and this is the base paper abstract and now coming to the our proposed abstract so as mentioned so we are going to develop the lung cancer through CT images using CNN model and uh, these are the model uh, accuracies mentioned uh, coming to the data set part so here you can see the data set part contains 554 CT scan images which includes 358 cancerous images and 196 non-cancerous images which is it contains both the training and the testing set so it is the combination of both the training and uh, testing set so it contains total 554 images i'll show you those images now so in the source code folder in the model you can find this test and train folder so in the train folder you have again two folders that is cancerous and non-cancerous so these are the images so here you can see it contains around 238 images in the train cancerous and in non-cancerous you can see these are the images of non-cancerous that is going to use for the training the model that is 126 images and in the test folder you can find again the cancerous and non-cancerous where the cancer is about 120 images these are the images of the test folder and non-cancerous contains 70 images of non-cancerous images in the test folder so total images is 554 CT scan images that we are going to train up the model and as mentioned so we are also going to implement with other three models uh, including the CNN that is CN ResNet uh, Navy Base and KNA Sniper and these are the accuracy score that we have achieved and these are the details and here you can see about the existing system so 
uh, we are taking the IEEE base paper as existing so there they have used SNS dense net classifier so we have um, um, mentioned the details about the dense net classifier in the existing system and uh, and then you can see the disadvantages of the existing system these are the disadvantages of the existing system then coming to the proposed system so the details of the proposed system has been in, uh, mentioned here with the CNN model and other three model that we have used and these are the advantages of the proposed system and coming to the system architecture you can find the CT lung scan images as the input uh, we are going there as I said and pre-processing feature selection is made and we have implemented the four uh, model that is CNN model architecture ResNet Navy based KNA, KNA rest neighbor model and the prediction result is finding the cancerous or non-cancerous and performance analysis and graph will be shown and these are the system requirements hardware and software requirements as mentioned we have developed this using python and the version that we have used is python 3.10.9 and the web framework that we used is flask and the front end part is developed using html CSS and javascript and uh, these are the references that we have for the base paper and now let us see the execution of the project before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned the requirement file the exact version of the python of the libraries installed in your system so first copy the source code location go to your command prompt so first go to the drive location now you have pasted the code in my case i have pasted my code in f drive so let me go to the f drive so now type cd space and paste the location that we have copied and click enter now we are into the source code location now type the command python app.py and click enter now kindly wait for a few minutes So now you can see this URL, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser, I'm going to Google Chrome and paste the URL that we have copied and click enter. So now you can see the home screen, I'll continue the project with the project title, detection of lungs cancer through computed tomographic images using deep learning and first let me click to the login menu and once if you click the login menu it will be navigated to the login page kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button so now you can see the login success message and click ok so now it will be navigated to the preview part where you need to upload the image for the testing purpose so go to the source code location and where you can find the uh, upload folder where you can just check with the images for the testing purpose so let me select an image from this upload part first and uh, here you can see the uh, drop down which contains the model as CNN, ResNet, KNN, Navy Base Classifier so now you can select whichever model you want and you already selected the image so based on the image selected and the model the prediction result will be shown so now let me show you one by one so first let me show you with the CNN model that we have proposed so I have selected the image and then click submit so now you can see the prediction result with the prediction page so this is the image that I have selected and here you can see the model that I have selected is CNN model that is shown here and the prediction result is cancer as so now let me click the preview menu again to select an image so this time i will select the same image so this is to show you that what it shows for the different models so this time i will select the resnet model and click submit so now you can see the same image with the model resnet and it is printed as cancerous again so now let me go to the preview menu again let me select the same image again and let me select the model as knn and click submit and now you can see the printed model with the KNN is printed as cancerous. So now let me go to the preview menu. Let me select the same image again for the final case of the model that is Navy base and click submit. And now you can see the model that is selected is Navy base and the picture result is cancer. So almost all the four models have shown that has been classified this as cancerous image. So in this way you can check with the images in the model that you are going to do. And now let me check with the non-cancerous part and let me select an image from the upload part this is the image i have selected and let me show you with the model model cnn itself for the other cases also to make the video shorter and click submit and now you can see the picture result with the model cnn and expected as non-cancerous image so you can also check with the images other images also that is available in the uh, 
and that is the uh, data set part that is the model folder you can also use these images also for testing purpose uh, to, to see the picture result of it so now let me go to the train folder and let me select an image or random image of this and then click uh, submit so the model that I selected is CNN and you can see the picture result is cancerous so now let me go to the train folder non cancerous part let me select an image randomly here and let me select uh, the model as CNN and click submit and now you can see the model is CNN and picture result is non cancerous and let me click the preview menu again this time I'll go to the test folder in the test folder let me go to the cancerous part let me select a random image and then click the submit button with the model cnn and you can see the model is here and the picture result is cancerous so now let me go to the preview part again and let me go to the test folder the non-cancerous part and let me select an image and then click submit and now you can see the model is here and the picture result is non-cancerous so in this way you can check with uh, other images and other models also to make the video shorter i am just stopping from this part and kindly note that there will be a question right now what happens if i am going to give some other images i am not going to give uh, CT scan image for example you can ask if I'm if I'm going to give some other image uh, which is not in the data set or it is not a CT scan image it may be an x-ray image or it may be a face image or it may be an object or animal any image if you are giving that it will give a random result only because the system is not being trained the model is not trained with all the images that is available in the world so it is only trained up with the model that is available in the, in the data set part so only give the images that is available in the data set part if you are giving some other image it may give a random result only and it will not give the it will not be predicting what what type of image it is so this way you can check with other images to make the video shorter let me move to the next part that is the performance analysis part let's click this performance analysis menu it will be navigated to the performance analysis part so here you will be seeing about the cnn performance analysis only so here the proposed model is cnn so we are seeing about the cnn performance analysis so performance performance analysis parameters are accuracy precision recall and f measure value so accuracy is 100 percent precision is 100 percent recall is 100 percent f measure is 100 so it is 1.00 for all the values and here you can see the confusion matrix of the CNN model which contains the true unprinted label of the both the cases of cancerous and non-cancerous pattern this is the confusion matrix and uh, kindly note that this uh, uh, performance analysis part and next part chart part both are static only it does not vary according to the input that you are going to give because both the things are being plotted from the model code that we have developed in the packet using Python so now let me go to the next part that is chart part and once you click the chart click in to the chart part here you can see two charts that is one is a model accuracy result so this contains the accuracy percentage of of the four model that we have used. so here you can see the accuracy cnn accuracy 100 percentage navy base is 99 percentage resnet is 97 percentage and k nearest is 95 percent so it is compared so this uh, uh, graph is compared with all the algorithm that we have implemented and it shows the cnn is better so that is our proposed model so this is the first chart and second chart contains the pictorial representation of the data set that we have used so this contains 38.5 percentage of cancerous image and uh, 61.5 as non-cancerous image so yeah, as mentioned these two are static uh, charts only uh, because we have been depicting the alcohol that is the on um, the accuracy percentage of the model which remains the same for everyone and the data set is also same so it has been depicted from the thing and uh, let me log out and this is all about the project detection of lung cancer through computed tomographic images using deep learning and thank you for watching